for part A, we need to find the equation of the line BC. We actually know the point B, they tell us is 0, 2. And C, we kind of know. It's the center of the circle. They give us the equation of the circle. So we actually know the point. What x value makes x minus 2, 0? Well, that's 2. What y value makes y plus 4, 0? Well, that's negative 4. So the center is 2, negative 4. So all that we're finding here is the equation of a line between two points. To do that, we find the gradient of BC, which is the change in y, 2 minus negative 4, over the change in x, 0 minus 2, which is 6 over minus 2, which is negative 3. And we already know the y-intercept because that is the point B, which is 2. And so the equation of the line, y equals mx plus c, which is negative 3x plus 2. For part B, we need to find the coordinates of P. And what we would notice from the diagram is that this is the intersection of the line and the circle. But that line doesn't stop. It keeps going. And so it actually will intersect the circle twice. And we want the one with the smaller x value. That's important. So to find the intersection of the line and the circle, we're solving simultaneous equations, and in this situation, we have to use substitution because in one of them, the variables are squared. And so when we know y equals negative 3x plus 2, we substitute it into the circle, and we get x minus 2 squared plus negative 3 plus 2 plus 4 squared is equal to 20. And of course, that uh, negative 3, that turns in, in the brackets, it turns into negative 3x plus 6 squared. If we expand all the brackets, we'll get uh, x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus 9x squared minus 36x plus 36 minus 20 equals 0. Simplifying, collecting like terms, 10x squared minus 40x plus 20 equals 0. And we can divide by 10 to make it very easy. x squared minus 4x plus 2 equals 0. OK, it says exact form, and we can't factorize that by inspection. So we're going to have to use a quadratic formula. We'll get 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 8 over 2. That gives us the square root of 8, uh, which we can simplify the third to be 2 root 2. OK, so for x, we know the solution is 2 plus or minus root 2. Um, but we want the smaller x value. Remember, there are two uh, points of intersection. And so the smaller x value would have to be where x is equal to 2 minus root 2. All right, to find the y value, we put it back into one of the equation. It, it doesn't matter which one, the line or the circle. But the line is much simpler to work out. So let's put it in there and get negative 3 times in brackets 2 minus root 2 close brackets plus 2. All right, expand the brackets and simplify. We'll get y is 3 root 2 minus 4. So the point P is 2 minus root 2 and 3 root 2 minus 4.